my name is Don Paddock. I'm here in Dallas, Texas with Graphic Associates and we are a Zante dealer. We sell the supplies and the equipment. And what I'm just going to take you through is a couple of things that we've done to find out what the X33 can actually do printing UV ink on, on different substrates. Right here we have we did a picture from an artist and did it in reverse. This is all canvas. We did the white on black to see how how much strength the white would actually have printing it on a black substrate. Then over here, we, we did another canvas uh, shot of a longhorn bull, which is actually a drone shot. And the same uh, bull, we were testing how to break up the uh, image into three images to to space it out for uh, decoration purposes. Uh, here's a, a, an example of uh, printing on a glass mirror. Then as we come around over here, here's another canvas print. This one was interesting because we took it into IQ and took the regular, uh, the picture that was done and added a tint to make it more of an old time tin type or amber look. This is uh, printed on tiles. And again, we have another experiment. We were experiment with how much image we could get and piece together on a 24, 36 uh, format, which the X33 is. Again, we have some more canvas printing, and we have Will's favorite, the yard signs. Now, to show you how versatile the IQ is, we took the picture, and all this is a regular picture of, a, of the horse, and then we took it, and in IQ, we're, we're able to break it into different colors, uh, like a posterization, without even going to any other software. And then we also printed, this is printed on glass on, on the back, and we just did it to see what a car would look, what a customer's car would look like. One of the things we found in, in working with the different substrates and printing on glass, you have a, a very interesting phenomenon because the glass is transparent and the UV inks are transparent you're actually going to have an image that um, is not the full bodied, uh, full saturated color that you would look for on a print. So as you can see, I don't know how well you can see that. And then what happens is after you print it and you put it with a white background, uh, you, it really pops the image out. Now with the X33, you also have a double white printing. So you can put down white, but this particular uh, project that we were doing and experimenting with, the guy that actually had this print, gave us this print to work with, does the framing, and he puts a white foam core behind it and then frames it and secures it so the image is protected because it's on the back of the glass. The other thing that you have to do is you have to prepare the glass. You have to make sure it's extremely clean. Here was another image that we were playing with and the substrate is a stretched burlap, much like a canvas attached to a frame. And when I printed it, I was gonna print it in white to see how the white would stand out against the burlap or against the color of the burlap. It didn't like it so we printed it in black over top of it and it was a little bit offset because I had taken it off of the platen or the base to uh, look at the white and see how, how good it would look on a wall. So then I put it back, printed the black. As you can see it's a little bit out of registration but in this image it happened to enhance it. <laughs> Uh, we are actually at the next door neighbors, which is a photographer, Studio 2110. 
and we, he, we did a, several pictures for him on glass, and this is one of his shits on uh, glass framed. Okay, and as you can see, Ramsey's does a lot of uh, models and landscapes and uh, sunrises and sunsets, and we'll just kind of peruse through, and you can see some of the work in his studio here. Some of his work with uh, flames, and glass vases. And again, all these were produced on the X-33. This happens to be a bumblebee shot that I took on a Texas blue bonnet. And it's printed on glass and it's actually sandwiched in between two pieces of glass.